When you hear New Mexico State, you, you think of a great, great, historic, traditional basketball program where the people really care. Jason Houdin has wanted to be at a school that prioritizes basketball for years. He finally got his wish as the guy tasked with cleaning up the New Mexico State basketball program. Houdin's hiring comes after a year full of turmoil for the New Mexico State men's basketball team. Two off the court scandals rocked the program and led to the firing of Greg Heyer last month. Today, NMSU finds itself in a rebuilding stage and Houdin has been selected as the person to lead it. Houdin was introduced as the 28th head coach in program history earlier today. Houdin comes to NMSU after spending the last 19 years at Sam Houston State. 13 as the head coach and he had 12 winning seasons. Along with a winning pedigree, Houdin brings in experience when it comes to running a well-managed program. NMSU Athletic Director Mario Mocha described Houdin as, quote, the entire package for the program's needs right now. One of those needs is a leader when it comes to the rebuilding process. KTSM 9 Sports Director Colin Deaver was at the Pan American Center earlier today and got to speak with the Aggies' new head coach one-on-one. -on -one. We're here with the new head coach of the New Mexico State Aggies, Jason Hooten. Coach, thanks for joining us here. Congratulations uh, on the job. I know you mentioned a lot in your press conference earlier today how this was kind of the right time and the right move for you to make. Why is this the right time and the right move for you? I think more than more than anything was just, you know, we had a great year and, you know, I thought there were some people that were interested in us and, you know, when it came to New Mexico State, the tradition and, and you know, the the support here, uh, you know, the, the uh, again, I just keep going back to the legacy of, you know, Coach Henson and what this program has always meant to not just you know the community here but also college basketball i just thought it was a really good a really good fit for myself and my family for sure obviously the last year has not been the kindest to new mexico state university specifically the basketball program um, did that give you any pause at all when you were thinking about taking this job just what the program's been through the last year well i think nowadays you know with uh, the media and, and and all the other outlets that you know you can find out things and get things checked out I, you know i did my background you know on it and just made sure that everything was a go and you know between you know the chancellor and, and Mario uh, you know we felt very confident and comfortable that you know that this thing moving forward was going to be able to be turned around and you know and and I think a person like me is excited for that challenge. Finally you've talked about hitting the ground running what's the first step of that process? Well we've already started it you know I think talking about staff that's got to be you know we got to get some some folks out here to help us and you know get acclimated to the job and what that instills and and then just you know on the phone on the phone with student athletes you know it's hard uh, but again Colin we're we're just really excited to have this opportunity to be in this type of position um, you know I think the resources here are what you need as a coach to be successful and uh, we're looking forward for that challenge. Jason Hooten, the new head coach at New Mexico State, called this job a power five job in his mind. We'll hear more from him later in sports. Sam, back to you. Thank you, Colin. Here's a look at Jason Hooten's five-year contract at NMSU. He'll make $425,000 in year one, $450,000 the next two years, and $475,000 in his final two seasons in Las Cruces. His buyout starts at $750,000 in year one and drops to $50,000 by year five. However, it gets nullified if Mario Mocha or Bron Cartwright are not the athletic directors. He'll have... 300000 each year to pay his assistants, and there are multiple incentive bonuses on his contract. For more on Houdin's contract, you can head over to our website, ktsm.com.